Uh, hello guys, welcome back to the channel. We have the Dell Optiplex 790 on the bench again. And for today's video, we're going to be doing a processor upgrade. I'm going to be taking this from a Core i3 to a Core i5. So, got all the tools we're going to need to do the job right there on the bench. And we'll come right back, we'll get the case open, and we'll start the process. Okay, here inside the case on these Sandy Bridge systems that Dell made, uh, what they did when they mounted the heat sink is they used a fan and cooler that used a four screw system to basically mount the cooler in place. You had a screw here, screw here, another one there, and another one there. So we'll get that off, and in the next scene, I'll have the new processor mounted in the socket, and we'll apply some thermal compound. Okay. Now what we're going to do here is just try to evenly spread this compound throughout the processor. mainly in the area where the cooler makes contact with it. Alright, it's a little little light right there, but you want to get a nice try and get a nice even layer on that and then put it back on. But you get basically I'm not gonna bore you with looking at this all day, but I might smooth it out a little bit more and then I'll throw the cooler back on and then we'll be ready to go. Get it all buttoned up. Okay. And when you're all done, put it all back together, it should look something like this. Um, one thing I do want to mention with these four screws that hold the cooler in place um, you, know, you kinda wanna go in like a star pattern so that the cooler can seat down onto the processor evenly and you don't wanna get crazy tightening up the little screws uh, when you're screwing them down you'll feel a point where the screw stops and that's where you stop don't try to don't try to get real happy with torquing the bolt, you know, the screws real tight or anything like that. Uh, you don't want to break anything. So that's pretty much it in here. I'm going to put the cover back on, get the case back together, hook it back up, and we'll see the machine in action. Uh, one thing I do want to recommend, I have already taken the liberty of doing this on this machine beforehand. Um, Anytime you do something like this, you want to have the latest BIOS installed. Um, however, only attempt that if you know what you're doing. If you do not know what you're doing, it's very easy to mess one of these things up. And your motherboard could be a, pretty much be turned into a piece of crap real fast. So uh, you definitely want to make sure you have the latest BIOS in your machine for doing that. But again, I, I must emphasize, make sure you know what you're doing and you know how to do that correctly. Alright, let's get this machine all back together and turn it back on and see it operate. Alright, here we are. New processors installed. And if people don't care too much for these scores, but just for the heck of it, I figured I'd show them. And we're going to sign and we're going to come back out of there. As you see, we're still running at 12 gigs of RAM. There's your Core i5 2400 CPU running at 3.1 gigahertz. And uh, I tell you, this thing's really snappy now. It was a nice running system to begin with. But I'll tell you what. Um, for what I'm planning to do with this, um, I'm going to probably take the KVM switch and put this uh, as a secondary machine and run it. Uh, kind of side by side with my 8 core machine, my big eight AMD 8 core machine in my room that I have. And uh, 
is I like to have machines to edit these videos with, you know, audio editing, that sort of thing. So I like to have a little bit of extra chip power for that. I'm not a gamer. If I was a gamer, I would have went, you know, full out and bought a Core i7 for this thing. Because you can go to a Core i7. I think it's a, uh, I believe it's a 2600K you can go to with this thing, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I don't think you can go any higher than that because I believe the limitation on the motherboard is actually the, the Dell HD graphics. Um, so you're probably a little bit limited there. But... All in all, I would say this is a very successful upgrade, and now I'm going to take that Core i3-2120 out of there, and we're going to stick that in the other Intel Core i3 machine, um, and we'll do that upgrade. We'll try and do that tomorrow, maybe even to a little surprise in the video, too. So, I thank you all for watching. If you like more exciting videos like this, uh, tune in to PC Lover 81s World anytime. Uh, thank you for all the new subscribers. It looks like we're getting close to 300 now. Uh, you know, that's going to be a big milestone for me. I've had this channel for almost five years, and, you know, 300 a lot for me. Considering I don't do it as a primary thing, it's kind of a secondary thing. I work a full-time job, and I've been up since 1.45 this morning. So, and it's now probably, oh, it's almost 7 o'clock right now at night, so... But anyhow, you know, I'll stop my ramble in there. Uh, thank you guys again for watching. Tune in to PC Lover 81's World. Subscribe. You know, the more the merrier. Y'all have a good one. See you on the next video.